What's up, YouTube? I'm Robert, and you're watching the Biker Channel, B1. Today, welcome back to episode two of my 80-pound vlog. All right, welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I will say this, to be honest, here we are in the middle of week five. That last weigh in was a little knock to the ego. I'd be lying if I wouldn't if I if I told you guys that it didn't like irritate me. Even though I took it with stride, I looked at how it all went, and we're looking forward to next week's weigh in for sure. But I just wanted to be real with you guys, like still sucked. But the positive side is I released the video. Now you guys all know what's going on holy shit man all the support all you guys out there i've had so many comments on that last video that were like i lost 40 pounds 50 pounds 60 pounds one of the guys said he lost 170 pounds that's insane that's like that's kind of like whenever i lost my ex-wife <laughs> anyways so Let's get on with it. I just wanted to tell you guys all thanks for the support and let's see how this, this next couple of weeks goes. A lot of you have asked about what I'm eating. For breakfast, it's eggs and toast. As you know, there's a lot of ways you can make eggs. If I'm having bread, I eat Dave's Killer Bread with 21 whole grains. I love crappy white bread, but in my eyes, this is the healthiest way to go. It helps satiate you. I don't stress about putting butter on my toast, but when cooking, we use olive oil. If I'm drinking something, it's water or zero calorie tea, and my new favorite, zero calorie Gatorade. If you ever had the low calorie ones, they were awful. The zeros, they're actually pretty good. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but when I do, I use regular cream. In my eyes, this isn't something that's gonna make or break my caloric intake for the day, and I like to focus on eating in a way that's sustainable and not overly restrictive. With breakfast, we'll typically have some sort of fresh fruit, or I'll add in some Activia yogurt. That yogurt's also one of the snacks I'll grab from time to time. Because otherwise, I'm not eating much dairy and there are healthy probiotics in yogurt. It's important to say that although fruit is good for you, it has a lot of sugars in it. So don't overdo it. All right, end of week five, beginning of week six. <sighs> Nervous about this one. Last week was 281.4. Let's, let's hope for some big numbers today. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I was very nervous getting on the scale this morning. And when I stood on it, I think the main reason that I was nervous is because I haven't told you guys this, but I'd really like to be in the 250s by my birthday. So like 259.9 is good enough. But um, in order to do that, I'd have to lose another 20 pounds in this month. After seeing one pound last week, I really started thinking to myself, like, what if you're only one pound, two pounds, maybe three pounds a week for the rest of the month? You're not gonna get there. You're not gonna get even close to that. 250s. But today, they turned out pretty good. That right there is eight pounds this week. What? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> so before I work out, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this. Look at this. Getting low. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Uh huh. French wrap potatoes. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sweet. So, month one. Start month two. Just did that first workout, staring at that 28 up there. It really feels good. 28. 53 to go. Way better than 81. Still daunting. But this feels good. I'm getting in the swing of uh, not hating every day out here in the gym. I wish I could tell you guys how good it feels. 
some of you guys said that you started whenever I posted. Put in the comments where you're at, how you're doing. We can do this together, guys. We can do this. If you don't have a magic bullet, then you should definitely pick one up. We use ours daily. It's really important to give your muscles the right fuel to repair after working out. I use these Isogenics products for protein shakes and we'll add in a post-workout supplement to boost recovery and reduce soreness. I also drink this daily potion that they sell. It's got a bunch of voodoo in it, generally just because I enjoy doing shots every morning. A little shot in the morning. <sighs> Tastes like lawnmower. Sometimes I drink a shake when I'm on the go and I need some quick calories. You can add stuff to it too to make them taste different. I frequently use a banana or another supplement called BCAs to change it up a little. And that's it. That's all you gotta do to make a shake. It's so quick. There's no reason why you shouldn't do it because if you're lazy like me, boom, got your calories, got your protein, got your smoothie, frothy goodness, whatever the hell you wanna call it. <laughs> and you can get a mustache just like that. After that big week last week, I'm nervous today. The pattern's been big week, little week. So 273.1 last week. Let's see where this goes. Well, as you can see, there seems to be a pattern here, and I know it's a step in the right direction. However, it's still not fun seeing the small numbers come up. A little nervous. It's uh, gonna be the biggest ride I've done since, um, since I've been doing this riding bike every day. I'm about halfway in, 11 and a half miles, just about 2,100 feet of climbing. This used to be a ride that I would like have to be in like good shape for. I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm halfway through. I'm pretty stoked at how well I'm, I'm handling it considering the fact that I've ridden every day for almost the last six weeks. I ran out of water probably about 15 minutes ago and I'm like freaking out. So if I wanted to do everything I wanted to do today, I'd have to go up this trail behind me and it's about a half a mile climb and I'm just afraid of overheating. I'm going to do the right thing and um, coast down the hill here. Well, that ended up being like 22 miles and about 2,900 feet of climbing. It was an ass kicker and um, kind of bummed that I didn't get to do that last little climb, but you know, it was a smart thing to do running out of water. Um, I definitely was pretty damn close to having like heat exhaustion. I will say these beast pills, I highly endorse these guys, man. Um, I thought it was kind of bullshit until I ran out of the bottle that they gave me. And then um, when I started riding without them, I definitely started cramping again. So apparently it works or it's a um, hell of a placebo, but one way or another, I've been taking them. So. If you guys are interested, check it out. Links in show more. Because of COVID, I'm working from home and a lot of lunches are leftovers. I also tend to go for something that's easy. One of my go-tos is good old PB&J. I use that same Dave's bread, a healthy amount of peanut butter, and some jelly. I typically have a piece of fruit with it and sometimes I'll throw in a yogurt if I'm especially hungry. All right, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And that's what's happening today. Oh yeah, get in my belly. So I may have fooled you a little bit on that one, but hey, sometimes I gotta be a jokester, right? <laughs> you can get some poke though, and what I usually do is order it with half the rice that they normally get, and if you wanna be a little more healthy, you can get it with salad. 
or lettuce or whatever they call it, rabbit food, something like that. But I like the rice, I'm down with that. Today I'm kinda bummed. Um, I don't know if you guys can see how crappy the sky looks behind me. There's been a lot of fires here in, in Northern California, so right now the air quality where I live is really bad. Just standing here, you can see ash falling from the sky like all over the place. Here, take a look. You can see that it's just laying around. If I open my car door, there's ash flying everywhere. Oh, there you go. Ooh, ash is everywhere. So riding outside is not a really good idea, um, which kind of bums me out. Like I've, I've been doing this 20 miles a day, Monday through Friday, and um, it just doesn't seem like it's the smart thing to do right now. So I'm gonna take a day off. I haven't had a day off of riding for quite a while. I don't think the uh, air quality is gonna be any better tomorrow, but at that point I'll probably uh, pull my trainer out of the garage and see about doing some spinning inside. Yesterday was my daughter's birthday, which was really fun. And um, before it came, like I was already planning on kind of having a little bit of a cheap meal night or whatever. Like the fine young outstanding daughter that I raised, she wanted Hooters for her meal. So um, of course I had to partake, otherwise it would be rude. <laughs> so I definitely um, found out I can't eat as many wings as I used to be able to. I still love wings. They probably would have been better with beer, but I stuck with the, the not drinking my calories. But between the because of the but but because of the air quality, I couldn't ride bike yesterday, and I don't know if it's going to happen today. I do have the trainer, but it's making me stress my next way in because I don't want to lose my momentum, but. I know weight loss is done in the kitchen. It's it's just um, when you know there's like 1,500 calories that you're you've been burning every day, and you know what last week was a two pound week. I'm stressing, so um, figured to be honest with you guys. So the thing that I'm really really stoked about is in that box right there. Normally I tease the shit out of you guys for a while and um, this time I'm not going to do any teasing because I just want to ride this thing. Any ideas? Oh look, came with shitty brakes. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Never did that before. <laughs> so, those of you that guessed on Instagram and Facebook that I was buying a Santa Cruz, I guess you guys have me pegged. I'm okay with that. I've been wanting this bike ever since I saw the gray. And yep, that's how I make my bike purchase decisions. <laughs> Even though that two pounds was definitely not what I was looking for, it's still a movement in the right direction. I'm stoked. I'm under 50 pounds, 49 to go. I've lost 32. Oh my, 32. So pick up a big bag of dog food next time you're at the grocery store. And that's how much I've lost, plus a few pounds. So I can't be upset about that. Let's talk about dinner. Most of the time, it's a salad of some sort. And then of course, a protein like steak or fish. Salmon's a go-to. However, tonight, it's barbecued chicken thighs. Then, of course, some veggies. We have cauliflower, broccoli, and zucchini, and squashes a lot. Then, of course, when we're feeling lazy and don't want to cook, sushi always comes in handy. Also, if I'm looking for a snack, one of my go-tos is apples and peanut butter. Morning of August 29th. Celebrating my birthday today. Excited, I'm gonna drink some beer. 
but I wanted to weigh in beforehand just to see uh, see where I'm at. Did I hit the goal? So shave the beard. Hopefully that that's enough to tip the scale. So I'll weigh again on Monday just to give the final. So last weigh in was 268.9 and uh, let's see how this goes. One way or another, I'm celebrating today. So <laughs> here we go. <sighs> All right. That was close. Well, that's it, huh? Did it hit the 40? Don't care. <laughs> it's still really good all together. Last weigh in. So 269 was last week. 263 was Saturday before two days of uh, drinking beers and eating all the food. So we'll see how this goes. One way or another, honestly, I'm not stressing this weigh in at all. So let's see. Holy shit. Yep, now I'm stressing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So basically, um, back where I was last week. Oh well, it is what it is. It was a fun weekend. I'm, I'm not stressing. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> was I able to make the 40 pound goal in two months? Not so much. 37 pounds though. I'm going to keep the 37 pounds as what I did do because honestly the weigh in this morning in my eyes was just um, some extra water weight kind of hanging on from all the probably all the sodium and stuff like that that I ate plus um, there's no way I'm gaining five pounds of fat in a matter of 48 hours it's just not possible but the one thing that I did do is I got myself to under 50 pounds to go that's pretty freaking cool. I've also inspired a boatload of people. And I think that is actually just as rewarding as losing the weight. I also inspired Josh from Daily MTB. If you don't watch his channel, check it out. It's in Show More. Another channel you can watch is the Biker Bar channel. It's a podcast live stream that I do every Sunday. And uh, Josh and I did about two hours talking about this diet, how I motivated him, and a little healthy competition that we're having. I also wanna say all of you guys that said you've been inspired as well, you're gonna have a chance to win a cool prize. All you have to do is put a video together about your weight loss, whether it's a lot, a little, just do your story. And then do hashtag tubby20. Come election day, November 16th, we're gonna look at them all and choose a winner. And um, at this point, I have no idea what the prize is gonna be, but we're gonna to try to make it as good as we can. So. Think about it, put your submission in and uh, put your money where your mouth is. There's a lot of you guys that said you were gonna do it and um, here we are, so let's see if you did. One last thing, if you wanna show your support for the Biker 2020 weight loss campaign, you can get yourself a shirt just like this one that I'm wearing right now. If a shirt's too expensive for your blood, you could always get yourself some cool stickers like these right here. So check out the Teespring store right below if you're watching on your computer. Otherwise, there's a link for the store in the show more. And remember one thing, guys, it only takes a bike to be a biker. Get out and be one.